In this clip, we will show you how to complete our production order. Completion of a production order manages all outstanding issues to production and receipts from production, as well as any other inventory related transactions, for example, the assignment of serial or batch numbers. This also provides variance reports generated by over or under usage of components or resources in the production process. We have already completed the route stages from assembly right through to the cutting route stage. We can now progress to route stage 5, the stick route stage of the production order. We are going to begin by changing the status of routing stage 5 to in progress. In this stage, there is only one resource with an issue method of backflush, and so in this case, we do not need to perform an issue to production. Once the senior technician who is performing the sticking process completes the task, he informs the production manager. The production manager then changes the status to complete. The production manager can then initiate the report completion process. To do this, we right click on the production order, and choose Report Completion. Choosing Report Completion opens the Receipt from Production screen to receive into inventory the finished product and any byproducts. In this case, we've got the finished product of the customised company laptop and the metal waste byproduct. We are now going to add the document to the system. Adding this document initiates the serial number setup process because the final product is serial managed. We are going to choose to auto-create the serial numbers. Next to the serial number option, we then set up the parameters to generate our serial numbers. We can now create our automatic serial numbers. And now we can add our receipt from production to the system. To view various reports, we are able to look at the Summary tab. Following receipt from the production, we now have a number of reports that we can view and drill down into. We can click on the actual item cost component, and this provides us with a listing of all the components that were issued to this production order with their quantities and costs. Note this includes the extra component that was required. We can also drill down to the actual resource component cost. This is a listing of all the resources that were issued to this production order. Please note that these quantities could reflect a cycle or a shift, for example, for these resources. We could drill down to our actual additional cost, and in this case there isn't any because we have no non-inventory item components in the bill of material. Then we have our actual product cost. This is a listing of all the products received into inventory from this production order, with their quantities and evaluation in inventory. We're now going to drill down into the actual byproduct cost. This is a listing of all the byproducts received into inventory from this production order with their quantities and evaluation in inventory. In our case, it is the metal waste item. And lastly, we can drill down into the total variance. This is a listing of all the inputs and outputs, including components, resources, finished products or byproducts, as a result of the completion of this production order. The Summary tab also shows other information, such as the planned, completed or rejected quantities, for example, and any planned time, such as the total production time, or the planned days, like the total required days, waiting days and total days. We have now demonstrated how you complete a production order, and we were able to complete Route Stage 5, the sticking stage of the production order.